A convicted baby killer sentenced to Texas death row could get a new trial in Travis County. We're talking about Kathy Lynn Henderson, found guilty of killing three-month-old Brandon Baugh in Pflugerville back in 1994. Henderson was babysitting the child when she says he accidentally fell and hit his head. A jury didn't buy it. But new analysis of the evidence has one judge calling for Henderson to be returned to Travis County. Shannon Wilson joins us live with the new developments in this case. You know, Kathy Henderson has always maintained this was an accident. But but her actions after the death of Brandon Baugh did not help her case. She says she panicked, packed the boy's tiny body into a wine cooler box, buried him in a shallow grave, and then went on the run. She has fought for years for a new trial, and this just might be the closest she has ever been. Baby Brandon Baugh would be 18 now, his parents likely going to his high school graduation. Instead, they visit his gravesite. This is so not fair. This should have been over with. A long time ago. By phone from their Dallas area home, Aaron and Melissa Ball say the pain is as raw today as it was 18 years ago. It's something that you just cannot imagine the amount of pain, anger, and frustration for having to live through this experience day in and day out without a resolution. It has indeed been a long journey. Kathy Henderson, convicted of killing Brandon in 1995 and sentenced to die. But two days before her scheduled execution in 2007, a last minute appeal spared her life. Fast forward five years through more appeals and evidentiary hearings to this week when retired Judge John Wisser, who presided over the first trial, now says he believes Henderson's conviction and death sentence should be thrown out. He's saying he does not believe if that trial were held today with this new evidence, and the way Dr. Bayardo would have to testify that a jury could ever find her guilty of the way she was charged. KXAN legal analyst Mindy Montford is talking about former Travis County medical examiner Robert Bayardo, the only person to examine Brandon's body after he died, the star witness for the prosecution who ruled Brandon's death a homicide. He's now come back and said he couldn't say that if the trial were held today. In his brief to the Court of Criminal Appeals, Wisser says the state's chief experts were scientifically flawed and claims new science about the nature of head injuries would change the way a jury saw Henderson's case. If you're the prosecution, you're going to be looking at all the other evidence that was presented at trial. The fact that she didn't call for medical attention. If you've dropped this baby, the prosecution's going to argue if it's an accident, you're going to call 911. You're going to try to get medical attention for that child, especially if you're a caretaker, and that's what you do. But Henderson's attorneys will likely seize on Wisser's recommendation and prepare for a new trial, something the boss can hardly bear to consider. It could be living hell on us, having to go back through and relive all that court, court testimony from all the trials that we've already gone through. It would be devastating to us emotionally and financially. I don't know if we could do that or not. This case is now in the hands of the Court of Criminal Appeals, but it could be three to six months before they issue their ruling. For now, Kathy Henderson remains in prison on death row in Gatesville, Texas. Leslie, back to you.